Hello everyone. In previous video, we have seen how we can read Excel file using the Python. In this video, we will see how we can write values in Excel file using the Python OpenYXL module. Uh, first, let me import OpenYXL and create workbook and worksheet object. You can learn about workbook and worksheet object in first video of this series. So to read an Excel file, we have previously seen a method. We can say WS and specify here the column location so if i say b8 dot value and let me add that in a print statement so we can see output in our console and if i run my python program now i can see it's giving me the value 920 so let's go back to our excel file and see that value exists in b8 cell so here i open that and i am checking the value in b8 so this is b column and this is eighth row so you can see here 920 we have extracted that successfully now to write a value all we need to do is specify the values after the equal to sign so let's go back to our excel sheet quickly and modify this value in b5 cell to something else to do that i can simply say ws b five is equal to let's make it something obvious so i'll just type it nine and let me add the value tag here if i run my program again i'm expecting this value will not be reflected in actual sheet right away and i'll tell you reason for that in a bit so if i run this i did not get any error but if i open my excel file again you can see that change has not been implemented now if you remember in one of our previous video we have discussed if we want to make any change in excel file we have to save the excel file so i have to write w.save and pass my excel file name here and after sending this save command it will be reflected in the excel file so let's rerun our python program now and if this time if i go back and open my uh, excel sheet again you can see the value in cell b5 has been changed we can do that for multiple uh, uh, cells at the same time as well so and also you don't have to specify this dot value let's say we want to add two new values in cell a9 and b9 uh, we can do that simply by saying ws a9 uh, let's name it something unique let's call it rick and in a b9 i want to add his balance to let's make it 1500 again i have to save my excel file to see those value reflected uh, let me close this and let's read our python file now if i open my excel file again you can see that rick and 1500 has been added to the excel uh, so this way you can make changes to as many cells you like so now i will show you one more method using the dot cell we can also use this syntax ws dot cell and here we have to specify row number let's get value from row 5 and column 2 and if i print this also i have to add dot value in here rerun my python program oops i have missed bracket here so let's rerun python file now then you can see 9 is printed so if i go back to my python file again and you can see the value in cell b5 is 9 and that's what we are getting we can use this syntax as well to set the values in uh, excel file so let me comment this out and i'll say using the same method i just have to say equal to and set it to something obvious and now if i read in my python file again this 800 should be reflected in row 5 and in column 2 so let me open my python file again and you can see that has been changed it's easy to change you know single values so i would like to show you how we can change multiple values or how we can populate either column in a row using this method so for that we will need to use a for loop 
And what I wanted to do is basically in the C column, I want to first uh, double the value of this B column and add that here in C column. So to do that, we this is what we need to do. Change this column uh, to th three to represent C column and change here values of rows. So I can say one, two, uh, and then set it to something, 1000, and again, want to keep this column three and then make this row two and another value, something like that. So that's how we have to assign the values. For that, we can use a for loop. So you can see all we need to do is we want to keep the a column number same the column number is three but we have to change the row values so in here we have to specify row one row two row three row four and up until the row nine right so let's do that before we do that let's first populate the title here so i will use the previous syntax here call it uh, cell c1 equal to double balance and again we have to run uh, wb.save command to populate this value i don't want to make this change right now so let's remove that and rerun our python program if i open my balance sheet again you can see the double balance has been added in c1 cell now um, the next challenge is to first grab value of this B column, multiply that with two and add that new value in the C column. To do that, we can use a for loop. In for loop, we can use a range function. So I'll say for I, let me comment this out real quick. So for I in a range, uh, 1 to 10 print i now if I run my python program it will give me value from 1 to 9 we can use this value to change this row number and then extract the values for each row but the first row is for headers so I don't want to touch that so let's start from 2 and go up to uh, if i specify here 10 it will go up to 9 this is how it will print start from 2 and go until this value minus 1 so it will be 2 to 9 and if i rerun my python program again you can see oops i forget to save it let's save it and rerun python program and you can see here how oh, where does this uh, eight okay this eighty thousand coming from here let me comment that out as well and try one more time and you can see here we are getting value from two till nine now we can use that numbers in our new syntax that we learn so i'll say w dot cell row equal to i and I want to extract the values from B column. So that is two column equal to two. And since I want to extract the values, I'll say values. And here uh, I'll name it B call. If I print my B call and rerun our Python program again, you can see we have successfully extracted values for the b column that start from 880 to 1500 right here now now my next task is to multiply this value by 2 so that is uh, simple i'll just say b call into 2 and assign it to a variable let's call it c value so this new value that we multiplied by 2 uh, that is a c value and we will add that value in a c column so to do that i can simply say w dot cell and i want to add that for all the rows respective of that column and say i column equal to here i have to say column three because i want to add value in c column c and value equal to 
and that has to be this new value here so again what we are doing here is first extracting the value from column b then in here we are multiplying that column b value with 2 and then we are adding that multiplied value in a c column after we make this operation we have to save our excel file to reflect those changes so i can simply say w dot uh, save balance xlsx and now let's close our excel file first and then rerun our program oh so i have done here w dash save it's actually has to be wb dot save so let's rerun our python file after fixing the error and no error so i'm expecting that value uh, will be updated in the c column and open our excel file and there you go you can see the c column has been populated with this new values those are double of the p column and that's how you can add values in the excel file using the open by excel thank you for watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel thank you